Hi there, signs of cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's get some Palo Santo. <laughs> Calling in your spirit team, your spirit guides, higher self. Let's get messages here. Any kind of entity that would like to spread love, not fear, for your reading. <clears throat> All right. And I'm going to pull from this deck here. I might have art supply on my hands. FYI. Alright, this is the journey of the sacred bee. And I'm going to pull a Celtic cross. This will be for the rest of August 2024. for cancer messages for cancer oh no my little warmers on I warm up a crystal there we go term tourmaline <clears throat> yeah that's what that light is it's warming up uh, tourmaline tourmaline I want to get some negative ion energy here <clears throat> messages for the sign of cancer using the tarot and then i have um the lenormand and the kipper decks combined in the siren song and i have the kipper style deck also another one so and i have the little 108 so we have a few decks to clarify with three cups in the reverse don't listen to what they say i can't i can't say it don't listen to a word they say. I'm on your mind like every day is the, the lyrics. It says, don't listen to a word they say. I'm on your mind like every day. Are you really going to stare at me standing from across the room? There's something about that uh, come into my mind right before you're reading and the three of cups in the reverse. Don't listen to a word they say. I don't know what that has to do with, guys. But look at all these good cards. Shit. Oh, the chariot. Really? And these are all over. Holy crap. Well, if you're a Cancer and you came to my reading, this is good for you. Good for you. Jeez. I mean, and despite what we have here at the top, <clears throat> there's competition, there's arguing, or there's the pettiness, there's sticks being thrown. <laughs> hmm. What to do about that? About to, about what to, is it, <sighs> feels like it's saying like what to do about these people, the, these three of cups represented in the reverse. The ace of pentacle is in your past, which is a really good card. <laughs> Suggesting that you seized upon a new opportunity or took up an opportunity to invest in something rather big. Um, and this pathway is going to lead to more success. It's obvious with these cards. More success, more security, and of course, good financial gain with this opportunity. It was obviously seized. Ooh. What is going on? Okay. There's kittens. Um, and then the victory card, the six of wands, come on, victory, public recognition, praise. These are the types of readings I really don't have to clarify too much. I mean, it, <laughs> these beautiful cards speak for themselves. And then <clears throat> there's a completion, a new chapter. It's the challenge. And so I don't, I don't know what this new chapter or challenge is but it might have to do with what other people have to say if that's what if that resonates with you um but you look you're being recognized you're being honored um you have victory right and this is like one of my favorite cards artistically i love this card and i also love this card just in general it's the princess of wands or page of wands it's the good news card hello it's what your heart is feeling because it's in the spot that's the heart of the matter. And uh, that's great. That's great. Good news card. Passion. Start of new, something new. Something passionate. Hmm. 
in the environment, there's a feeling of, oh, I don't know if it's the right timing. Like that, the will, the will in reverse. Or you're dealing with wrapping up some karmic cycles, right? You could be doing that too. I'm kind of picking up on that and I don't always, so that probably is significant to you. And then in the goal and destiny spot, we have your own card. Ugh, it's beautiful. The chariot. <clears throat> The chariot, your success, your victory, your victory, um, staying very self-aware and balanced, knowing where you're going. There's a lot of fortitude. All of the good attributes of the sign of cancer are wrapped up in the chariot. This could be also about travel, right? Could be about travel. So we will clarify this one. And then another major, so one, two three, four major arcana <laughs> in, in one Celtic cross spread is kind of big. I have the, pri the priestess, I was going to say the princess. <laughs> I have the priestess, which is somebody that is um, kind of to themselves with some secrets about how they feel, what they know even, knowledge that they know, keeping some things kind of hidden is kind of the name of the game with the priestess card uh the high priestess has a lot of power it, it, it even in a place of solitude the high priestess could have a lot of power you kind of never know what's going on in this person's mind um maybe and then and there's mystery so maybe that's how people feel about you that they don't know how to read you there's something like <laughs> that trying to look in your eyes is pointless because they're trying but they can they still can't pull out things that you know that you feel I would say that's probably on purpose and then I have the hang one is this waiting period okay and some interference the interference is this three of cups in the reverse this I'm telling you it is that is the interference um, it, could, it could be your own thoughts your but you, I feel like it's kind of kind of like letting other people um, get to you they're not a good influence. They lie. The seven of swords. They're deceptive. They lie. They do things behind your back. Um, or they say things behind your back. That's what that could also represent too. Um, the hanged one. But I'm not all about promoting fear. I'm just saying that if, if you're dealing with these energies, it's, I feel like it's coming from that specific group or some people. <laughs> some people. The hanged one here I have is a waiting period where you're seeing things from a new perspective. You could be designing something quite new in your mind, you know. Um, it's kind of given the shape of a Merkaba. So there could be like, a, like if you're just sitting, like, you know, like I said, that it'd be hard to figure out like what's going on in your mind. It's because like you could literally be traveling to different dimensions in your mind right? Different dimensions, going different places that other people don't do that. You do. You do that. That And, and there's something about where you go to in your meditation, in your mind, that um, other people just haven't gone there. It's not, it's because there's a level of self-awareness with you and multi-dimensional awareness with you that gives you some type of um, advanced perspective is what I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, there is this interference, right? Mm -mm -mm. It's in it's in the hopes or fears. So it's a fear. You're there's something about not letting, of course, not letting your, the fears get the best of you. And I posted a quote about fear. I mean, because I view fear as being like my main my main enemy and, and really um, created by our, by us. So for all, it may seem real here, and I'm not saying that fear isn't necessarily real, but I think it's something that's created here. Um, and, and like not a product of prime source creator. So whatever it is that you're desiring, I guess, um, it's going to be past fear. <laughs> You're going to have to pass up the fear about whatever it is. And know that uh, 
you wouldn't have a desire or a love or a drive for something what is in your heart space like this spark that's in your heart you wouldn't have that it you the prime source energy wouldn't put that in your heart for you to sit in fear instead of going for this okay and and then you just have a lot of it it will bitter betty is okay so no offense to anybody named betty i love the name betty but you just have a lot of bitter people fighting or competing maybe they're competing for the same thing i don't know they want it, it's an energy that gets you scattered or loss of focus they're ch like trying this energy is trying to do that and then it's got you in your head nine of swords watch you in your head overthinking over analyzing <clears throat> making something worse than it is not knowing what to do not knowing what to do maybe because you feel like there's nothing that you can do in, in some type of situation i don't know i don't know let's go on let's see um hmm. all right so for the wheel in reverse We're gonna pull from the siren song first. This is, like I said, a blend of the Lenormand and the Kipper. <clears throat> Tell me about that in the environment. Tell me about that in the environment. I have a choice, a decision to make. Crossroads 22. It's about what you're gonna end up building or what you want to build. And this is a major choice, a decision. It's like the lover's energy coming out too, um, as being on a crossroads or a path for you. To make a huge decision is just like, is it ever is it ever the right time or maybe this decision is to close out a karmic cycle tell me about tell me about the wheel some more <clears throat> some more excuse me Need some water goodness <clears throat> could have everything to do with you like speaking up and saying what you need to say ah <laughs> And like I said, the lover's energy is popping up again. So the crossroads and the two doves and the good outcome. It says good outcome on it, meaning that whatever decision this is. Because, guys, this can be a good decision. It will be a good decision for you. That's what I'm picking up. What about this interference? What about this being in the over analytic mind state? It's about something that you uh, would like to offer or that somebody wants to offer to you. The goal could be building solid foundation, building something with someone, a house for its stability. It's um, what you're gonna build, a master builder, 22. Um, and then the bouquet is, is like something being proposed either to you or that you're wanting to pro propose to somebody else, but feeling like you can't move from this spot and i'm not sure if that's anxiety if that's mainly anxiety the rich gent on the bottom of the deck it also might have something to do with warrior anxiety regarding finances for some and the white cat nice okay <laughs> oh the white cat your ally, your friend, your loyal, uh, your familiar, <laughs> your familiar. Oh, I have wealth just wanting to pop out and great fortune on the bottom of the deck, guys. This is why you've got energies that are wanting to distract and, and I heard and take and take from you. Wanting to distract and take from you. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not cool with that. So let's pull some. So the wealth card, let's pull from the 108. The 108 Oracle for Cancer. Yeah, that's what these energies feel. Like there's some kind of external thing that is controlling you or trying to apply force into a direction that you maybe you're wanting to go I, I don't know like um competitors but doing some 
some crazy stuff to make it so that you can't do certain things or act on certain things. What are you going to do? Like that, that's, that's the energy I get is what are you going to do? Well, obviously we see a victory here. So tell me how we get out of this uh, scattered head energy here and external forces too. Okay. Target suppressed and need to break free. Oh, and I say that and dear John comes out. Okay. So there had been something maybe that you had been waiting on doing. It was about, for some of you, it's very much so about wrapping up a karmic cycle. Um, if it's not a relationship, it can be a business. I mean, it can be the closing out of something like that. <clears throat> Rejection, cold hard truth, breaking up, setting boundaries, strained situation, cutting cords, something's not working heart home it has to do with the heart and home look at that beautiful color coming out the purple number nine aries um which is about the confidence and that fight within you so it says shield defensive protect support safeguard block stand up for to ward off unwanted energies And then there's peace and yoga. Peace and yoga. Um, agree to disagree. Uh, so an ending, right, or, or rejection, like you're rejecting somebody or you're rejecting an idea. There's a feeling of something trying to force you into a certain direction. And if they can't do that, then they'll make things complicated or confused for you. And this is a truce or de-escalating. It's a peace offering. And you have three doves here. And then yoga, contemplation, going within, taking deep breaths, time alone, wellness, and rest. A fixed child, stuff. so fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Um, stubborn, inner child, do what you love, exploration, boundless energy, time to play. That's what the page of ones uh, is all about, too, is that the heart is saying it's time to have fun. It's time to play. Time to play. Oh, wow. And you look, in, though, they, though they throw things at you and have distractions and bonfires underneath you, that's okay because you will rise like the phoenix, another nine, meaning there is something that is an ending that is wrapping up. Maybe you're just waiting for that. So it feels like it's already been wrapped up though. Transformation, eternal soul, renew, resurrection, rebirth, destroy, rising from the ashes, emerge, a new air, alchemy, transmutation. The end is just the beginning. And then the optical illusion all is not what it seems. I feel like it has to do with this group. Well, there's the death card. As I say, there isn't a death card, but there is an ending. It's with some shady people. People that were uh, having you under an illusion. Hocus pocus, right? <laughs> a visual effect, it says. Sleight of hand projection. Or they were doing predictive programming. And if you didn't fall in line with their predictive programming then they had problems oh i didn't know there was an extra card in here and it's from another deck to a false person revealing themselves in a different way in a different book false person somebody that was not what they seemed their intentions were not well-meaning i'm not going to focus too much on that but that is what is pulling someone off focus that's the only reason i say it Library, uh, knowledge, learning, history, information, hidden documents, secrets. This goes with what you know. And it could be about you uh, accessing the Akashic records, too, via meditation. Or through another person. I mean, however you like to do it. Hmm. 
So author, looking beneath the surface here, it says author reading, writing, map, exploration, find your own way, locate unknown destination, new territory, lay of the land, plan, prepare, chart a course. And then person of earth, you're a person who is grounded, secure, possibly stubborn, nurturing, classy, stable, prosperous, materialistic, possessive, and dependable though. And this situation for you is changing. You have changing on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> because there's some 5-5. Five, five. Changing for you, there's this thunderstorm energy here of power, destruction. It, it's it's because there's something that's written in the stars. For real. Written in the stars. One to three months. Um, <laughs> there's a large amount of energy coming your way. It's for you. It's, it's something that's going to help you feel more powerful i guess they already do that would be a good way of saying it i'm going to pull from the oracle of genetic gifts and then uh, an angel number message and we'll wrap this up <laughs> i said i was gonna you know it's funny as i was gonna say make a joke that that <laughs> this high priestess you could have um a lot of things hidden and kept to yourself, right? And I was going to say, unless you run into somebody who has telepathy and you allow them uh, in, right? You still have to allow people in, but a lot of people are kind of open and don't even think that or think that way. But I believe in it. Telepathy, thought reading, extrasensory perception, Okay, be observant and you have some types of signs that uh, spirit is trying to give you through your angels, through nature. I don't trust necessarily technology that well to give me a sign. <laughs> I mean, sometimes if it's like what a what a reader might say, right? But it's still all connected to that algorithm. So if I see something that actually matches up, say if I'm outside and I see something and then it also pops up, you know what I mean? Depending on when I see it, that that's truly unique. It's like a sign. Um, to me, it goes past a coincidence, but... It's uh, zero, zero, angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Okay? And you are a pioneer, 19. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you, and you are extremely capable in life and work, and you aren't afraid to take the risk to achieve the life you desire. Right, 25 is your ability to take in and process information and um, oh, pick up information apparently also from others. So 25, I am intelligent. Um, why am I picking up? I'm picking up a very, um, an energy that's very pers that can be very persuasive with their mind, with their thoughts uh, and, and dealing with others. <laughs> that's crazy. And and so, I think you would already see this stuff or know this stuff, but there's something with the, like, uh, the games that people play. There's something about that, too. All right. Well, if, if you would like a private reading, those are just $24. Please check out the description box below for that information if you want one. And I'm sending you much love out there. Like, subscribe if you did like it. Bye, Cancers.